We live in a world where people are fragmented, disconnected from a healthy culture of connection. We've lost our basic knowledge about how to tend the earth and ourselves. We can see clear evidence of this loss in the environmental degradation and the human health issues plaguing our nation today. I know I don't need to convince you all of the direness of the situation in which we find ourselves. It can feel overwhelmingly frightening to confront this reality, to observe increasingly erratic weather patterns, to read of the insanely high rates of species extinction, to drive through the miles of monocrop farms that are causing massive bee die off, and to hear that some of our country's youth have rates of diabetes at one out of every two children born after the year 2000. Yet instead of despondently sitting back, afraid and frozen, and allowing our communal fiber to unravel, Woolman has decided to cultivate active hopefulness. Woolman has stepped into a national leadership role by building a farm-to-table program that tells these stories as a part of school. As Alice Waters says, teaching kids how to feed themselves and live in community responsibly is the center of an education. Not many schools, not any schools that I know of other than Woolman, have decided to so deeply care for this type of education. We need to send the message that this work is just as important as sitting at a desk all day, working to make big corporations bigger. But people need teaching. Even if they believe in the healing power of this work, most college and high school students in America have no idea how to farm, how to cook, or how to mentor. These are skills we as a society have been ignoring for the last 50 years or so, but they're important skills, skills fundamental to the very essence of humanity. And at Woolman, we know this knowledge is lying just under the surface in the soil of our souls, waiting to germinate. All we need to do is to water just a tiny sprinkling, and those long dormant seeds will wake up and sprout, resilient and ready to bear fruit. As my love, poet Wendell Berry writes, we pray, not for new heaven or earth, but to be quiet in heart and in eye, clear. What we need is here. We at Woolman believe that all of our programs teach people how to care for the earth, for their bodies, and for each other. And with this knowledge, we begin to patch the unraveling cloth of society. Thank you so much for helping us to do this mending.